In the centre of the French countryside was a beautiful chateau, left abandoned and forgotten for over 40 years. Then, one year ago, a family from the UK fell in love with its beauty and embarked on an adventure. Where, where that big tree is there, you can see the, can see the pillar. To bring back to life this forgotten chateau. Join myself, Terry, my partner, Ash, my mum, Tracy, dad, Tony, and nephew Jonathan in our family adventure at Chateau de la Lasalle. So I went to warm up a little bit and um, it's okay to, to get this uh, concrete down today. So what I'm going to do is uh, just mix a couple of, bu couple of buckets up and um, I'll try and sh get some shovel down the hole and then, um, then bring it up level. Hopefully I'll have enough otherwise I'll just have to mix another one up. So I've finished, finally finished both the walls. I'm just going to let that dry off a little so I can brush it all off. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to put a little vent in there because we're going to have a shower in this room. 
uh, so we don't have to open the windows all the time. So at the moment I've took one big brick out, which was a bit scary because I keep thinking the house is going to fall down on me. <laughs> so I've took one brick out and I've drilled through to the through the side now so I know where I'm at. So I'm going to try and take a few more bricks out of this side, go around the other side and try and work on that way so I can get through to get our little air vent in. So I'll go up and do a little bit more, try to get a few more bricks out of here and see what I can do and then I'll try around the other side. Finally got through. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it might took me a day. So I've got the tube I'm going to put through, push through the other side, and then all I have to do is brick it back up and cement it back up to make it nice and draft free. So I just have to put that in. I obviously won't be able to fit the other things in until we get the plasterboard on and um, on the outside I can be able to fit the, the cap on, but this side I won't be able to. So we're leaving that like that for a while till we get this plasterboard on but I've got a few bricks to put back in there now and cement it all back up because there's one massive draft coming through there. <laughs> but yeah, quite happy with that. <laughs> well the boarding's finished in this corner now. I've got a first coat of emulsion on, it looks pretty good. So I'm quite happy to uh, to put a little bit of top coat on and, and see how it uh, it blends in with the original stuff. Um, as long as it looks okay, I'm going to uh, try and get a couple of coats on today and then even try and get the door hung with a bit of luck. We've come out, um, last time we were at Emos, we found some tiles, um, which would be perfect for the kitchen. So we've dragged Tony out to come and check, see if they're any good, um, and see if we've, well, see if they've got enough here. So it's Tony's first time at Emos, and obviously we're gonna see if we can get a couple of little bargains. Um, last time we came on Saturday, obviously I got loads of nice bits. So hopefully we'll be able to spot some more. I'm just having a look at the furniture part. I've come across this buffet unit, which is absolutely stunning. So, um, all the car good on it. I've got like a little bit of stained glass on. Tom's not too keen on it, but I absolutely love it. Not 
just show you where it'll go. Love a little look inside. Mm -hmm. The sideboard's lovely, but I'm just not too sure on the colour. Nice wardrobes. If you'd seen last time I came just for Christmas, you'd seen this big sideboard. If you can see the size of it, it's massive. Um, yeah, it's absolutely massive. Um, it's only 150 euros, which is good for such a big piece of furniture. A nice little sideboard. Nice little wardrobe. Tony. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah, we spotted it on Saturday, didn't we? It's quite nice. Not fair French beds, but... I know, but... Yeah, but that'd be nice for where you the need it. The spare bedroom, yeah. It's quite nice. Nice little chairs there for your mum. Hmm? Isn't hers? <laughs> <laughs> the, um, <laughs> did you see your things are still there? The little... Eight, of... 80 quid for the set. Is it? So oh, the nice. euros for the full thing. No. I was looking at those. And if you can just see them, them two little cabinets. Yeah, well, I wouldn't pay a euro for it all. But uh, it's 80 euros for the full set. Yeah, well, no, no. I don't have to need buy the other thing as well. Yeah. But my display cabinet's still here, which I absolutely love. This one, it's just the perfect style for the shadow. So, do you think to that one, Tom? That one? This one, yeah. Still have to get rid of the uh, lining. Yeah. It's beautiful, that one. It's lovely, isn't it? Down here. Yeah, I do. I don't know, 150. Where is it? 200. Mm. It is beautiful. You buy it every time you come in, you like it. Yeah, I do. I'm just... You want two though, don't you? I don't know where... Either side of the salon. No, no, I'd probably put that in the billard room or the dining room. It's lovely. Yeah. I don't know. I need to buy wiring first. <laughs> Another one. Another one, this has been in for quite a while. Beautiful. But just think about that one that I just absolutely love. Um, just the panelling on the bottom matches the little hat stand that I just bought. So. See if there's any more bits outside. Mm -hmm. Wardrobe that I was going to buy is still here. Quite nice. The fabric's lovely. I don't need any chairs yet. And then 
massive, massive wardrobe. Absolutely massive. This beautiful dining table just left out in the rain. And some chairs. A beautiful picture. Unfortunately, it's got a bit, quite a bit of damage. Lovely. Mum likes this big trunk uh, just for like linen and stuff. What, 40 euro. I'm not too sure she'll use it. Nice, I think the like little bars is quite nice. I got my um, well, what I thought were door handles. Uh, actually, um, seven bell fingers to go on the front door, which is fantastic. So thank you to the people that told me about them. This is how else. Find Mum and Tony anywhere. <laughs> Go and see if they're inside. <laughs> Plenty of lights in here. Little duck one. Oh, quite like that. And that's a bit tacky, but. We're just wanting to do the ocean liner sort of thing, it's quite... 
Okay, good. I think I'll ask about that. So I still haven't managed to find Mamma Tony, um, but luckily the little light that I just spotted there, the wheel, um, it was only 10 euro. So I've got my little ticket, um, which I know it's a bit tacky in a way, but I think it'll look good in one of the rooms. Um, with it giving that little nod to the ocean liner. So I spotted mum. So they're looking at more tiles for the kitchen. You spot some more? I think, uh, I think we've cracked it. Hope you not cracked the tiles. <laughs> well, I'm going to crack one just to get a discount. Yeah? These are um, under flat enough. How much are they? Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, okay. <laughs> More baggins. <laughs> so it's been a successful trip yet again at yeah. Emeos, isn't it? Very. And we've got Tony into it now, yeah. so he can shower at us. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get Ash into it and then we can do a family outing and Absolutely. spend as much as we want. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Yeah. yeah. We've got loads today. Look, we've got little. Yeah, we've got. A little rocking chair for the cottage. It's like a little rocking chair. But it's going to be perfect as a little yeah. footstool, isn't it? I'll show you it? when we get back a little footstool. Yeah. So that was four euros. Bargains. I've got a full like bathroom accessory set, haven't I? Yeah. So it's like a soap dish, a towel rail, um, and the little wall lights. Wall lights, yeah. Which I've been having a nightmare trying to find. So. And hopefully. now we've just got Tony bringing the van because we bought some kitchen tiles. Kitchen floor tiles. So. Mm -hmm bargain Tony's loving it he's got drill bits so it's We're all a it's a win-win mum's got a light <laughs> <laughs> I've got a light <laughs> and Tony's here with the van so we'll get these in So we're just back, aren't we, Mum? Yes, we are. Some of our goodies, because these have been asking to see more of when we go shopping. So it's a little lamp that Mum got, which match matches your other one, doesn't it? Your big one. Well, same colour, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's good. And then a little footstool Mum got. Well, it's a little rocking chair. I think but it's a rocking chair, but it's going to be a footstool. Yeah. I might just set a teddy on it. Mm. <laughs> and then this I is just love it. the set that I got. Um, it's beautiful because it's like an empire sort of style which would be good for one of the bathrooms. Mm. Um, so what are they? So that's for a shelf? That's for the glass shelf then, mm -hmm. bits, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you've got like your two soap dishes. Mm. Towel rail. Towel rail, shelf. yeah. Glass shelf. And then I'm not too... I don't oh, know. Is it? I'd think that's... Oh, it's a towel rail? Because it moves, it can be a glass shelf. It must no, be it like must a be big towel, towel rail. rail. Yeah. And then I've got two little wall lights there as well. It's a full matching set. So... They must be just little hooks. I wonder if there was a soap dish or something on it. I don't know, I might mm. just hang stuff on it. Mm. Mm. It's lovely. Yeah, so it's a lovely set all matching. And then the biggest purchase, all of the floor tiles. Look at that. All for the kitchen. Which you happy bunny on you Very, on. yeah, because I wasn't planning on getting that done yet, but hopefully we'll get it done sooner now. Hopefully mm. next week. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then my little light in the corner there. Which is trying to hide. Because you don't like it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I Unless do. I was going to I know it's tacky, but I like it. <laughs> Hi 
thank you for watching the videos and don't forget to send your, your letters for the time capsule and I'll, as well a big thank you to Josephine Wills for the cheese and onion crisps as well for all of us um, cheese and onion are the favourite flavour I like so thank you um, and see you Sunday bye if you'd like to join us on our family journey bring them back this once forgotten chateau then please join us on Patreon with behind the scenes footage, updates, live chats and your very own piece of the Chateau.